This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Thursday, 6th April 2023. I am Adetola Coyote. The Federal Executive Council is set to update and step up the entire mining sector with current global realities by repealing the nation's mineral mining law 2007 with an updated 2023 mining act. FEC presided over by President Muhammadu Buhari agreed that the proposed bill will be transmitted by the Attorney General and Minister of Justice to the NIT to the National Assembly for needed legislative actions. The Minister of Works and House in Babatunde Fashola said the Council also approved the digitization of the workload processes and systems of his ministry, plus the approval of a private construction of four roads all in Kwara State in line with the tax credit program covered by Executive Order 7. Other approved projects include the construction of a customs barracks accommodation in Aviation Village Abuja and 10.9 billion naira for the procurement of the ICT component for the forthcoming national census. Former President Olusha Gobasanjo has pleaded with the Central Criminal Court of England, otherwise known as Old Bailey, to temper justice with mercy in the May 5 sentencing of convicted Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwere Madu and his wife Beatrice. After six weeks trial at Old Bailey last month, the couple and their doctor were convicted of organ trafficking in a ruling said to be first of its kind under the Modern Slavery Act. In a letter dated April 3, 2023, addressed to the Chief Clerk of the Court, Obasanjo advocated for leniency for the lawmaker and his wife. A source confirmed the authenticity of the letter, adding that the ex-president sent the correspondence privately and was not intended for the public. In it, Obasanjo acknowledged the implications of the couple's actions, which he described as unpleasant, condemnable, and can't be tolerated in a sane or civilized society. However, the former president expressed his fervent desire for the court official to intervene and appeal to the court and the government of the United Kingdom to be magnanimous and to temper justice with mercy. French President Emmanuel Macron is on a three-day visit to China and is scheduled to meet with President Xi Jinping. European Union Chief Ursula von der Leyen also accompanied Macron on this crucial visit and will also meet Xi. Trade and other issues of mutual interest will definitely be on the agenda, but it is understood that both Macron and von der Leyen will try to persuade China to use its influence over Russia to bring peace to Ukraine. They might also ask China to stop supporting Moscow directly in the conflict as the West claims that China has been helping Russia by sending military aid in the ongoing invasion of Ukraine, which Russia calls a special military operation. Ahead of the crucial meeting with Xi, Macron met with Chinese Premier Li Xiang. This is French President's second day of the three-day visit. On the day he landed in China, Macron said that Europe must focus on increasing trade and diplomatic ties with China and not reducing it. And that's it on News Show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. Have a fantastic day.